Good morning guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I hope you're all well. I thought I'd pick the camera up and start the vlog today. Before I forget, um, it's an absolutely disgusting day. We've got this storm coming in and the weather is just vile. We're um, due to go out tonight and I think it might ruin it slightly, but fingers crossed it won't be too bad and there won't be any floods anywhere. This morning I had nipped up to where I do my market with the flowers. We've got a cafe and they wanted an install of my dry bouquets in there. So Paws made me this really cool stand and I um, went up this morning and popped all my flowers on there and it looks really cool. I forgot to take any video footage but I'll pop some photos in um, when I edit this video. I punched a wall as well this morning which wasn't very clever. <laughs> my hand is just ripped to shreds. Not intentionally punched it but I, kept, I was coming out of the bakery and as I closed the door I caught my hand on the wall and oh my god it's so sore I've had to put a plaster on my knuckle because it keeps opening every time I bend it yeah my hands look haggard they're not as pretty as they once were when I wasn't doing flowers and hitting brick walls <laughs> we're heading off out this evening fingers crossed weather dependent to the um, Dalesford farm shop Christmas preview evening. We went last year, it was so lovely. As you all know, I'm a huge fan of Christmas, so anything to set me off in the mood. I'm already feeling Christmassy. Halfway through October, I was feeling Christmassy. I think because of what I do with the flowers and stuff makes it extra Christmassy, and I've always kind of got to be one step ahead with Etsy and stuff, getting ready for Christmas. Anyway, rambling. Um, they haven't got the reindeer there which is a shame, I really wanted to see the reindeer. They've had to cancel them because of the weather, but I think the rest of it will be really nice. I got food samples, tastings, and there's 10% off everything in the shop, so that's always a winner because it is quite pricey. I'm taking my mum and dad with us. God knows how much I'll get filmed because I get so overwhelmed and just excited when I'm in there by all the goodness, but I'll probably film on my phone. I hope that's okay. And that was a massively long intro. I'll show you my outfit quickly. Excuse the mess of this room. Now I don't need any more barber jackets, but I fell in love with this one. Have I got it done up wrong? I don't know. Poo bags in the pocket. I tuck those in. It's the Barber um, ASOS collaboration, and it's kind of like this camouflage bog fleecy material, and then it's got a fleece lining. It's so warm. I absolutely love it. It was a little bit pricey but then they always are barber you pay for the quality don't you but it's got this um, high neck and I love the orange piping and the orange badge on it so yeah I'm not going to wear this tonight but just for running about this morning it's been really nice just got it on with a long sleeve white top which I'm not convinced goes with the outfit but <laughs> no one can see underneath Levi 501 so like the original high waist crop and just my new balance so yeah that is my outfit of the day and I need to go and get cracking and get some work done
Good morning guys. I thought I would um, jump back on because I didn't film much yesterday. So we will do this vlog over two days. Um, as you saw we went to Dalesford last night for their Christmas preview evening. It was so nice. It's such a good atmosphere. If you ever get to go then um, definitely recommend it. Or you didn't even have to go to the preview evening. It will be full of Christmas stuff now up until the big day so if you do get a chance to call in go and have a look it's such a nice shop excuse my face it looks really sweaty i haven't um set my makeup yet i completely forgot <laughs> today i've got quite a lot on ready for my market which is this sunday which will probably have already gone by the time i upload this video i need to go pick up some moss for some wreath bases um i've got to head into town and pick some wreaths up that i've given to the lady in the shop that i sell my dried flowers pick them up to take them to market on Sunday, the ones she hasn't managed to sell. Um, so I'm going to take those with me and I've got a little bit of food shopping to do. I've got to go and pick up a top I ordered on Vinted. Just an errands kind of day and then I need to come back, make five bouquets um, and a couple more wreaths maybe for the market. So busy, busy day. Um, it's going to be a busy weekend. The postman has just been and dropped off this parcel so I thought I'd show you. There are a couple of pairs of leggings from a brand called Fanka. They asked if I wanted to pick a couple of new pairs and obviously I said yes because I absolutely love them. I wear them to death. I wear them dog walking, wear them to work out. I just love them. They come in these really nice little packages. If you're going to the gym um, and you want to like sort of shower and put your workout clothes back in a bag, these are really handy to keep. They just sort of pull open and reseal. So the first pair I went for, I can't remember what they were called. Does it say on the bag? Oh, Lift and Curve leggings. I went for the chocolate brown colour, which I absolutely love. They're super high-waisted. They've got this really, I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, got this really chunky, um, quite tight, but sort of like it doesn't feel tight when it's on, if you know what I mean. It just really sucks you in. Got that on the front and the back. And then on the back, it's kind of, I don't know whether you'll be able to tell, but it's like circular patterns around the bum, which gives the illusion of a bum, which I don't have. <laughs> um, mine's fallen off as I've got older. Um, and then they've got this sort of patterning all around the thighs. They're just so flattering and I wear them to death, the ones I've got. I get mine in a size XL. Um, I'm between like a 10 and a 12 on the bottom. They're so nice. They almost have like that maternity legging sort of feel to the front of them, but obviously they don't look like you're wearing maternity leggings. The patterning goes round the knee and sort of swirls around the knee. I hope you can tell. I've got the black pair. I wear them for literally everything, gardening, dog walking, working out. They're also reversible as well, so if you didn't want the pattern on show, you can turn them inside out and they're just plain. So I think that's a really nice detail as well. You can sort of take them from gym wear to everyday wear. And then the other pair I got, again, were the Lift and Curve leggings, but I got these in a autumnal, Christmassy sort of colour. I don't think it says what the colour is on here, but I will link these down below. Oh, Baked Apple. And they're like these really dark pink, sort of almost like a crimsony colour. Again, got the really thick bum lifting, tummy control, um, waistband to them and again they've got the patterning on. You might be able to see it better in this light, in this colour and again they are reversible. I just thought these would look really nice for autumn winter just to sort of give an outfit a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a pop of colour. I've got a discount code as well, I will pop it across the screen if you do want to check out Fanka. The leggings are incredible, they're so thick and the quality is just awesome. I've tried like Gymshark leggings and Fabletics, I love Fabletics leggings, but these are up there with some of the best leggings. In fact, I've, I own a couple of Gymshark pairs and these are better. So um, I still love, I do love my Gymshark leggings, but these are just come out on top for me, they're so nice. Like I said, I'm not being paid to say this or anything, I just, they just wanted me to pick out a couple of bits and I um, was more than happy to do so because I absolutely love them. Good morning. Can't remember where we left off, but um, I picked the camera back up today and going to vlog. It's been a very hectic month so far. I think it's the ninth today. 
December, as you can tell we've got a Christmas tree up, that's changed since last time I uh, vlogged, but I'm going to put all this in one video because there's no point doing separate ones. Um, so yeah, I've just been flat out uh, flowering, I've been so busy with Etsy, which I'm so grateful for, a load of orders to America, which is so exciting. Um, but mainly my wreath making. I've had to make so many wreaths. My hands are in bits. I've resorted to green nail varnish because it hides a multitude of sins with like the green staining from the moss. Super grateful for the work, but obviously it's meant that YouTube's taken a little bit of a back seat. So apologies again for going off the scene. I'm trying to get as festive as possible, which isn't usually a problem for me because I love Christmas so much. I need to uh, make mince pies. I bought brandy mince meat yesterday. It's only like an Aldi one, so I don't know what it's like. What are you grumbling at? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do those today. We're going to uh, the pottery group that Paul is part of. They're having like a bit of a Christmas drinks thing tonight, so I need to make those and take those along. I've got a couple more wreath orders and then two markets and then I'm done for Christmas. I finish on the 16th. I know I'm gonna get questions about my jumper. It's actually from Sainsbury's and I love it. It's not usually a Christmas color I'd go to blue, but there's just something about this that I absolutely adore. And it's long enough to wear with leggings and cover your bum, so winner. I think it was 22 pound reduced to 18. They've got like a bit of a 25% off clothing at the moment, so couldn't resist and I needed a new Christmas jumper. This is how the living room is looking at the moment. Um, not the living room, dining room. Excuse the washing area. I've got wreaths everywhere, dried flowers for markets. They're not all gonna stay there, I'm gonna move those. But uh, we've recently had this piece of art framed which we are so happy with. It's been stored under our bed for as long as we've been together. It's like 10 years, Paul had it um, given to him and we finally got it framed and up on the wall. I've just done this brass planter with some hyacinths in. They're starting to go over now. I've had this for ages, so I need to redo them. I need to pop some ribbons around my candle holders and put like a runner on the table. The table isn't done yet for Christmas, but the tree is. I was unsure of it because we picked it out in the absolute torrential rain, had a row about it, um, stormed off, Chucked it in the car. All the things you do as a couple when you go to choose the Christmas tree. <laughs> but it turned out to be the best. I love it. It's so nice and it fits this space perfectly. I don't know how well I'll be able to show you. We've already got some bits underneath. Um, and I've gone for, I usually go for just for green and gold, but I've put a little bit of red in there this year. I wasn't sure about the red to start with. I've got a load of dried hydrangea heads, so I popped those in. And then I could kind of, I could get away with a few red ball balls then. So yeah, just an accumulation of decorations we've collected over the 10 years of being together. This one is a new one, it's a little greenhouse. My mum's friend bought me this. Um, well, yeah, just, I think mum got me these and these ones. And then the rest we sort of collected over the years mistletoe ones i think that one was dalesford last year can't remember where that one was from um a lot of them we've bought on like holidays and stuff i put the cotton stems in as well because i think they bring it to life i think feel like that's the trick with the christmas tree just loads of different textures sorry if you can hear the dogs barking next door they're going mad um so yeah welcome back i know i've been rubbish but work has sort of taken over. Barry! <laughs> Such an idiot. Oh, and I've had to have my brace back in because it hasn't done enough. So I've got to have another 13 weeks of that, which is so annoying, especially over Christmas because you have to keep taking it out to eat. But woe is me. No one cares about that. Right, I'm going to the post office and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay, and I'm gonna crack on with these mince pies. The only thing is, the only thing is, is I've got three different tray sizes. I've got this like deep one, tiny one, <laughs> and then 
a Yorkshire pudding tray, which I'm not convinced they're going to work in. They might be, but they might just be a bit too flat. So we will see. I've got my trays. I've got short crust pastry, pastry brush, cookie cutters. I think probably going to use those three. Mince meat, an egg, and then some. What have I got here? Plain flour for rolling out the pastry. And then I know mince pies don't generally have decorations on, but I've got so many. No, actually, I'm not going to use those. I think they'll be horrible. You just want to be plain, don't they, mince pies? But I need to do some more Christmas baking because I've got so many sprinkles left over from, from last year and some really nice cake cases. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to crack on and get these made. I've got the first batch out and they look divine. They smell so good. I went for the mini ones in the end because I just thought they're nice and bite size and people can just dig in easily without loads of mouthfuls. So I've done a tray of these. I've got five more to go in and then there's three big ones in the oven. So all I need to do is get them out. Oh, to be fair, they come out easy. Get them out of the tray, put them on the cooling rack. I mean, they don't look particularly appetising because I think I've overfilled them and they've all <laughs> squirted out over the sides. The little ones are okay, but these big ones aren't really showstoppers. So I'm going to have one with a cup of tea after my lunch and the rest can go tonight. There's only a few of us going, so there's a few each. <laughs> 